It's always looked upon uh, as negative, uh, certainly at the uh, retail trader level. Institutional traders are taught on their first day that they buy good levels or they don't buy at all. Unfortunately, most retail traders will wait for some confirmation before they get in. That could be a candle pattern, could be a moving average cross, uh, uh, or whatever. Institutional traders will buy at the level. Now, most traders will put their stop loss a tick under the last low, and they will invariably put their stop loss at exactly where the institutional orders are. I think that institutional traders are just doing what institutional traders do, putting their uh, entry points at very good levels. However, if you are uh, trading at the institutional level, it's not always easy to get filled. At the retail level, if you want to buy 100 shares, you want to buy uh, the pound against the dollar at a five or a point, you press the little button and you've got it. At the institutional level, it's not that simple. Uh, and uh, you've got, to, in, on occasions, to actually generate the liquidity to get aboard. I don't think that anybody looks at where the stops are, but they will say to themselves, well, we know pretty sure that most of the stops will all be crowded around this obvious level. So uh, they will bid the market at that particular level. All you need is one person to chicken out, and the markets are going to go where the bids are, and all those people will be taken out. If you uh, do not think long and hard about where you're going to put your stops, that you're going to find that you can quite easily die in a sea of stop losses. And here's an exercise for some people. The next time you're just about to put a trade on, you pick up something heavy and you just go, Piff! you write down on a piece of paper where you're going to buy and where you're going to put your stop loss. Don't buy it, but put an order in to buy it at where you're going to put your stop loss. And then just watch how many times the market goes to your order. Markets uh, will go uh, to the obvious stops most of the time. And one of my rules uh, is that I want to put my entries where the masses put their stops. If you don't get in at a good level, there's nothing that upsets me more than a guy saying that this is a very risky trade, I'll use a tight stop loss. That's just rubbish because uh, the, you'll get stopped out over and over and over again. The stop needs to be where the stop needs to be. So if your entry is sloppy, then your stop loss is going to have to be a red bus away from where you got in at to give yourself a chance of staying in the move. The average true range will help with that. Most traders will look at a stop loss of two and a half times the average true range or something like that. Nevertheless, if you want to get in with low stop losses at institutional levels, you've got to be brave. The institutional traders uh, will use um, uh, Fibonacci levels, they will use trend lines, they will use simple horizontal support and resistance levels to actually look for confluences to try and place their orders. Nothing clever, okay? Unfortunately, most retail traders, as I say, will look for some form of confirmation uh, and uh, their stop loss will then be too close and they'll get taken out in the